gray so far. We got four gray. Took that top super off. Yeah. I'm going to let them have all that because it's uncapped. Sun has bee gray. I'm thinking these outside frame could have honey. But I'm thinking in the middle I should find a brood because it's a nice tall hive. We've been here third year now for me working on it. It's an actual 20 year old resident. That's right. 20 years. And we have their original top. Of course, it's a new hive bottom on everything else that I've put on. So when I came here first, they were in a falling apart box with a plastic bottom and a plastic top. And I rearranged things and gave them wood. Oh, calm down. Smoke with them. Come on. Just I know. Just move on. She was just me. Tell her. Tell her. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's just me. Come on, man. That's right. Just because there's a brood in here, that's why they're so testy. And bingo, I was right. Yeah, man. And lots of it. That's why they're... <laughs> Look at that wonderful brood pattern. Queen. Yeah, man. There's more in there. So if they got brood way up like this, you know they're good. A little more smoke here. If I can put this one. Come on down. Scoot, scoot, scoot. That's right. Okay, so. Four frames. Oh, wow! Calm down. I'm not going to take anything off of the sides because they need all that food reserve. I'm just going to put this, the empty frames in that I have and a whole nother super on top and they can free build that honeycomb back. I don't have foundation in the frames mm -hmm. that I'm going to put back. I'm just going to cut the honeycomb out and let them build it back. I'll do one frame with foundation and one empty frame. And there's my nine frames that are going to go in that super that goes on top. So I'll take another video after I put them back together. It's a nice harvest and I think I'll just be happy with those for spring.